Hello students, today we are going ahead with the story Glimpses of the Past. In this part, we will know the reasons for the first war of independence. Heavy taxes imposed by the British government were ruining Indian peasants. The Bengali Santals, a tribal community, lost their lands by new rule passed by the British government. In 1855, they rose in, in rebellion and massacred Europeans, their servants and supporters. Revolt of 1857 started at Meerut. The British soldiers got huge pay, mansions to live in and servants to be served, while Indian soldiers got pittance and slow promotions. So, discontent grew in Indian Army of East India Company. Mangal Pandey was an Indian soldier who played a key part in the events immediately preceding the outbreak of the Indian Revolt of 1857. He attacked the adjutant of his regiment and thousands of other sepoys revolted against the British administration. To convey the message of the emperor, chapatis and lotus flowers were circulated among Indian soldiers. Message was that the emperor would want their services. Peasants would be ready to drive the British out. The masses gave all help and shelter to the patriots. In 1857, Indian soldiers shot many English soldiers. Dead. The rebellion spread far and wide. Many landlords lost their lands. The sound of making the British government out of India was echoing everywhere. Landlords, soldiers and peasants were being united. The sepoys marched to Delhi in the court of last Mughal emperor, Bahadur Shah Zafar, wishing his long life. They made him the leader and commander in chief against the company. At last, he was prisoned by the British and sent to Rangoon. Many other rulers, like Hazrat Mahal of Lucknow, were bitter. The English had taken away their kingdom. Popular leaders like Malvi, Ahmedullah, of Fezabad urged the common men to revolt. Azimullah Khan told that they are to make Nana Sahib the leader of that war of independence. They all joined up search against the foreigners. All over the north, India, the people fought pit battles against the British. 88 years old, Kubar Singh of Bihar received a bullet in his wrist. He just cut off it, throwing it into the Ganga, he said that it was his, that it was his last offering. This is the Vela story on how we Indians tried to get freedom from the clutches of the British. Now let's see what we have learned from this content. First question from the MCQ is, why did Bengali Santals lose their lands? Options are, because of new land rules passed by the British government. They were unable to pay fixed revenues because of the Zamidari system or all of the above. Correct option is all of the above. Now, your second question is, name the two rulers who fought pitched battles against the British and died fighting. Options are Begum Hazrat Mahal and Bahadur Shah, Malvi Ahmedullah and Azimullah Khan, Ram Mohan Roy and Tipu Sultan, Tatya Tope and Kuwar Singh. The correct answer is Tatya Tope and Kuwar Singh. Now, your next question is, which of the following two pairs of popular leaders led the revolt? Options are Aurangzeb and Bahadur Shah Zafar, Rani Lakshmi and Peshwa Nana Sahib, Begum Hazrat Mahal and Nawab Wajid Ali Shah, Tatya Tope and Peshwa Nana Sahib. Correct option is Tatya Tope and Peshwa Nana Sahib.
Fourth question is who was the last Mughal emperor? Options are Akbar, Aurangzeb, Babur, or Bahadur Shah Zafar. Correct option is Bahadur Shah Zafar. Now it's time to practice. Now it's time to practice some questions from the story. Here we try to understand the questions given in working with the story. Question number one is give any four reasons for the discontentment that led to the 1857 War of Independence. Question number two is what did the Santhals do in 1855? That's it for today, kids. You have to attempt these questions by your own. Till then, be proud to be Indian. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.